Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Setup Block, episode number eight. We're gonna be reviewing four setups today. All the links to all the products and all of these setups will be in the description down below. So you know all their products, everything is down there. So if you see any products that you like and you may wanna buy yourself for your own setup, all the links are down below in the description. And if you'd like your own setup to be featured on the show, all submission instructions, everything you need to know is also down below in the description. Apart from that though, let's jump straight into episode eight of Setup Block. This entire episode is gonna be the budget edition. Uh, I'm going to be doing like themed setups uh, for quite a few episodes I think. I've got a few cool ideas so expect a few more themed episodes uh, in the coming weeks I guess. The first setup here comes from Sam. He's 16 years old from the Netherlands. He mainly uses this setup for gaming as well as school. But Sam's setup here is pretty cool. Uh, he's definitely got like a white, black and blue theme I guess over here. He has a white tabletop from Ikea, a, a black mouse pad on there. So kind of like, you know, a black and white setup with like a hint of blue here and there. As he has some blue LED lights inside his PC, as well as blue uh, ear cushions on his headphones. For his peripherals, he's got the Cooler Master Master Keys Light L combo. For his mouse pad, he's got the Genesis M12 Maxi which is a gigantic mouse mat, fits your keyboard and mouse on there without any problem. For his speakers, he's gone with the Speedlink Nvent. Sam also has two monitors in his setup. As you can see, one of them is mounted vertically and that is the LG Flatron E2241, mounted vertically there on a monitor arm from Human Scale, and that's the Human Scale M2 monitor arm. And then for his main monitor here is from Philips, and that is the Philips 227E4LH. For his headset, he has the Logitech G430, and then he has two PS3 controllers on his stand as well. Taking a look at Sam's PC specs, for his CPU, he's got the Intel Pentium G4600, sitting inside of the MSI B250M Pro VD motherboard, eight gigabytes of Corsair Value Select RAM, an MSI GTX 760 four gigabyte graphics card, two Corsair AF120 blue LED fans, as well as a cheap RGB LED strip, cause RGB for the win. He wrote that in the submission, not me. <laughs> and all of those components are sitting inside of the Cooler Master Masterbox Lite 5. A very popular case, I think, for like budget builds. Now this entire setup really isn't that bad in my opinion. Bearing in mind, uh, according to Sam right here, the entire setup is worth uh, under 800 euros. Everything here is under 800 euros. And to be honest, it doesn't look that bad. Like, I like the desk. I like the theme that we've gone with, black, white, and blue, I guess. And I think one thing that would really look good in the setup and improve it, uh, not in terms of performance, I guess, but just in terms of looks, I guess, and comfort, would be a new chair. Now, uh, I know this would probably be like very, very expensive to buy from a company like GT Omega, but if you want to, I think this chair in particular would look amazing. Like the GT Omega Elite in black and white here, I think would look awesome in your setup, bearing in mind that you have like, you know, a white tabletop here and the whole thing that you've got like in your setup, I think this chair would look great in it. However, this chair is also definitely on the more expensive side. Uh, even if you use my code TECHBLOCK5, that'll only save you 5%. And uh, yeah, this chair is definitely still very, very pricey. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is probably recommend you uh, like a cheaper black and white, I guess, gaming chair to buy for your setup and I think that would really uh, improve things uh, in terms of comfort and I think it would just look a lot better as well rather than that like uh, office chair that you've got in there at the moment. But apart from replacing your chair, I'd probably just mainly look into upgrading the parts inside of your PC as uh, you, you've currently got an Intel Pentium CPU in there and a GTX 760. Uh, it's not the worst specs, however, I think you would definitely appreciate having some extra performance for your setup in general. So probably just look into upgrading your PC there. And finally, let's go ahead and take a look at Sam's cable management here. He's done a good job. Uh, he has the IKEA Signum rack beneath his desk, holding uh, all of his power strips and everything, all of his cables there. And overall, I'd say he's done a decent job at cable managing everything. However, there are still quite a few cables coming from your monitor. I think the one from the LG one, uh, try to cable tie those two cables to the monitor arm so that they're kind of like out of sight. Uh, apart from that though, you've done a decent job in terms of cable management here. Not too many cables in sight. So uh, apart from that dude, uh, thanks Sam for submitting your setup. Let's move on to the next one. The next setup comes from a person called Eoin. Eoin? I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, Eoin, I guess. Uh, thanks for submitting your setup. This one is under 300 euros. Can you believe that? So. Uh, he's 16 years old, he's a student, content creator, editor, GFX, designer, and streamer, he does it all. And this setup is mainly used for editing GFX designed and mild gaming. So this setup, uh, let me tell you, is very budget. Under 300 euros. Wait, is that an Xbox like one in there as well? Xbox One S, how much does that cost? It's like 200 pounds on Amazon, what the heck? Taking a look at the stuff he has on his desk for his keyboard, he has the Max Tech Optical Gaming Keyboard, the Max Tech Optical Gaming Mouse, 
a Maidstone wireless keyboard, I'm guessing through its Xbox One S right there, a pair of Boom multimedia speakers, the Turtle Beach XO 3's gaming headset, an Xbox One S controller, an Xbox One S of course, a Fujifilm camera mounted on an Epson EF51 tripod, sitting behind a 32 inch Samsung TV, and then for his main monitor he has the IQ on, or Icon, a 20 inch monitor. For his PC specs over there he has the Intel Core Duo 1.8 GHz CPU, 3 GB of RAM, a 186 GB hard drive, and a Radeon R7 240 GPU. So this entire setup is very, very low end, but Eon is saving up for a brand new setup, he just needs to get a job, uh, that's what he's told me in his email here, so uh, I'm guessing when he does get a brand new job, everything, absolutely everything will be upgraded and probably be replaced as well, uh, but for 300 euros? Uh, there's a lot going on here, to be honest. Uh, you got two monitors, you know, you got two keyboards, a very low-end PC, but a PC nevertheless. You have an Xbox One S there, a camera, a tripod, you know, it's not bad. Taking a look at cable management for the setup, uh, the power strip is on the floor. Uh, there's quite a few cables inside there, but there is like a wooden board pretty much covering up everything, so... Uh, it ain't too bad. I think you've got like two gigantic zip ties here as well or something, I don't really know, but uh... The cable management, I think, could possibly be better. I think investing in like, you know, some cable ties, like some plastic ones even, and just tying a few cables together will go a long way. And uh, the main problem I have, I guess, with the cable management here is that the power strip is on the floor and kind of visible. So perhaps stick that onto the wooden board, like, you know, right there, and that'll be a better solution of hiding it. But uh, yeah, really isn't that bad. I wish you the best of luck, Eon, for, you know, getting a job, hopefully, and saving up for a brand new setup. But apart from that, dude, thanks for submitting and, uh, you know, best of luck with getting a job. Let's move on to the next one. The next setup comes from Ben. He is 13 years old. He's a student. Now, this setup is slightly more expensive than the previous two I've just shown, uh, but this is still, I guess, on the budget side of things. So the entire theme he's gone for here, I suppose, is like black, white, and red, judging from like, you know, the PC having like some red LEDs in there and stuff, his mouse being red, his HyperX mouse pad being red, his wallpaper being red, you know, stuff like that. So definitely like a white, black, and red theme going on here. He's got like, I'm guessing, some kind of flag above his setup as well. Not too sure what flag that is. Let's see if we can get any other images here of the flag. No. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at what he has in his actual setup here. So for his desk, he's gone to the IKEA Linmon with the Alex drawer on the side. He has the Adil's legs as well from IKEA. So everything here is white. The white Alex drawer, white IKEA Linmon desk, and the white IKEA Adil's legs. He has the Logitech G Pro keyboard, the Steel Series 110 gaming mouse the HyperX XXL mouse mat, a SteelSeries Arctis 3 PC edition headset, a Blue Yeti microphone, a Logitech C922X webcam sitting on top of his PC case, and then another Logitech C270 webcam sitting on top of his Samsung S27C750 monitor, and he has two of those in his setup there. Matching monitors looking real nice. For his PC specs, he has the Ryzen 5 1400 CPU, the MSI A320M motherboard, a Zotac GTX 1050 Ti, 16GB of G-Skill rip draws, 2400MHz RAM, a 1TB hard drive, as well as the Cooler Master Master Cool 500W power supply. Now according to Ben here, this setup is mainly used for gaming, streaming, as well as productivity, and you know, with your two monitors there, uh, you can definitely stream, you can definitely uh, be productive on on this setup, you know, two monitors really does improve productivity. You have double the screen real estate to, you know, be productive on dude, whether that's editing videos or, you know, doing whatever you're doing. Taking a look at the cable management of this setup, he's done a pretty good job, I suppose. He has the IKEA Signum rack beneath his desk, uh, pretty much holding up his power strips, power supplies and stuff, and everything's pretty nicely cable managed beneath his desk, I'd say. However, on top of his desk, uh, you can definitely see a bunch of cables. So I think there are a few cables coming from either the back of your PC or the back of your second Samsung monitor over to the right of your setup. So if possible, try to push those cables, uh, like, I guess, out of sight and towards your PC. And if the cables are too short, uh, buy either USB extensions or just longer cables in general, if it's like a power cable or something. Uh, so that's one way to improve cable management there. But uh, apart from what I'd actually change in the setup, uh, because you have your PC there, what I would do, I'd move both monitors over to the left, so you can see, you know, both monitors as well as the internals of your PC. I think that would look a little bit better there. Also, maybe invest in, like, let's say, like, a one-meter LED strip or something, like a USB-powered one, even, and stick that behind your monitors for, like, some extra glow there. I think that would be cool. But apart from that, Ben, thank you very much for submitting your setup. 
uh, best of luck with upgrading everything and uh, maybe possibly moving both the monitors over to the left a little bit there. I think that would look cooler. But yeah, thanks Ben for submitting a setup. Let's move on to the last one. The next setup comes from Josh. He's 13 years old. He's a student living in Canada. He uses his setup mainly for gaming as well as streaming. Now this is kind of like a mix of like, a, I guess a PC setup as well as a console setup. But I'd say it's mainly a console setup here as uh, his PC or laptop in this case doesn't have uh, like a dedicated graphics card. So he probably doesn't play games on the laptop at all, but instead he mainly plays, I guess, Fortnite over there on his PS4. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at all of this stuff he has in his setup here. So he has a blue Yeti microphone, the Black Web Studio headphones, an Acer 27 inch monitor running at 1080p 75 hertz that is used for Fortnite right there on his PS4 Slim. Taking a look at his laptop, he has the Acer Aspire F15 with an Intel Core i7. 7500U CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and the Intel 620 integrated graphics. For his laptop, he has an Insignia wireless mouse as well, and he's plugged in a Samsung P2070 720p 60Hz monitor into his laptop as well for, you know, an extra display there. So quite an interesting setup here. Um, I feel like the main problem here is the lack of like a proper desk. Now, I don't know how big your room is, and if you could fit, you know, a normal desk into here for your setup, consider looking at something like an IKEA Linmon desk. Uh, they're very, very inexpensive, especially if you can go over to IKEA and buy it yourself, then you won't have to pay a ridiculous amount for shipping. Actually, I, I don't even know if you have IKEA in Canada. I I'm pretty sure you do. But uh, yeah, uh, probably look into getting something like IKEA Linmon for your setup. They're very, very inexpensive. And I feel like just getting a new desk in general would be an absolute game changer here. And you know, just move all these other bits of furniture elsewhere if possible. So that's probably the main thing I'd focus on getting and um, perhaps if you actually do want to get into PC gaming, uh, invest in an actual PC instead of that laptop as I guarantee you, you probably don't play games on that laptop. You just play Fortnite or you know, whatever games you have on your PS4 here. Now you could also improve the cable management here in the setup, you know, of course you can. However, probably just invest in a brand new desk and kind of go from there. Buy yourself some Velcro cable ties, some double-sided tape, for example, so you can stick your power strip beneath your desk. You know, tidy up all those cables nicely once you have a brand new desk, of course. But apart from that, Josh, thank you very much for submitting your setup. Best of luck to you upgrading the rest of your setup. Hopefully, buying yourself a brand new desk. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to go check out any of the things I feature today, Everything is linked down below in the description as always. And I hope to see you in episode number 9, which will either be Intel or Ryzen Edition setups. But yeah, hope to see you in another one soon. Goodbye.